Hi, welcome to the part 23. These are real certification questions for AZ900. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So let's look at the questions for previous questions. Please refer parts 1 to 22 of this playlist. So if you know there is a delete lock on a resource group, who can delete the resource group? That's the question. Why do we lock? So that there is no accidental delete or accidental unexpected changes. So the first one says a member of global administrator group. See, the first thing is that guy can, any guy before any guy deletes it, you will have to remove the lock, right? Before you open the door, there is a lock on the door. You need to open the lock first. That's why the second option looks correct. You will have to delete the lock. The delete lock must be removed before an administrator can delete RG1. This looks more promising. See, this option, as your policy, the purpose of policy is to enforce organizational standards and what are the common use cases these are the common use cases implement governance consistency or regulatory compliance for security or cost so on hence azure policy is not for this purpose let's move to the last one that is azure tags tags is just used to tag a resource so that there is a logical grouping you can understand reading or reading at the tags in your bill you can know which tag has costed how many dollars we will lock this answer move forward this is the next question it's simple you have a company they want to migrate whatever so they have some resources on prem and they want to move everything to cloud azure cloud okay but the pain point here is they want to identify whether Azure complies with the company's regional requirements. See, anytime you see compliance, anytime you see compliance, Trust Center is the answer. Trust Center nowadays has been renamed. It has 90 plus compliance offerings. There is nothing called Knowledge Center, Azure Knowledge Center. It is a Synapse Knowledge Center but the purpose is different it is not for regional compliance requirements then the marketplace is where you find various vms and templates see the purpose of my apps portal is to view and start many of the organizations cloud based apps so we don't have any such requirement here hence we will lock this answer in this question we are seeing three questions let's go one by one see the first one says as a resource can have multiple delete locks what is a delete lock what is the purpose it is to prevent accidental deletes of the resources like vm see by default you can have multiple delete locks nothing prevents you from doing it the answer is yes but now the question comes why does azure allow multiple delete locks on a resource the reason is one delete lock may have a separate purpose for one entity and the other delete lock may have a separate purpose for an other entity another question says there is an inheritance of locks from the resource group resource group is the parent you have this as a resource group parent and then you have resources as child so if the parent has a lock the child will inherit that lock yes they will the third one says if there is already a delete a read only lock can you add a delete lock yes you can add these are two different types of locks as we told we can have multiple locks on the same resource there can be multiple delete locks there can be one read only lock and one delete lock that is perfectly okay so this is the final answer so azure china is operated by microsoft is is true or false china is operated by a company called 21 via net hence the answer for this one is no let's look at the next one azure government is operated by microsoft that is true yes what is azure government this is 
only for US federal state and governments and it is a mission critical cloud okay. this is totally managed by Microsoft now the third one says as your government is available to US government agencies like we saw in the documentation perfectly yes and their partners which is yes if you see this documentation they also have mentioned their partners always remember in the world if the company is deciding in US like Microsoft they will make things first for the US government and then they will make for other governments so right now they have made it for the US government so these are the answers let's look at this what is an Azure blueprint and a resource manager we need to understand that first okay so blueprint it is used for quick repeatable creation of governed environments that means it is similar to infrastructure as a code there is a code you run the code and your servers will be created and configured and as we see in this documentation it also uses resource manager templates okay this we know for sure it uses resource manager templates hence the answer here is yes let's look at the second one you can assign and blueprint to a resource group my understanding is blueprint is not a resource it is a piece of code which uses some templates to create the infrastructure on the fly so you cannot put that into a resource group the answer should be no because blueprint creates the resources it itself is not a resource the last one says blueprints can be used to grant permissions to a resource yes it is ultimately infrastructure as a code you can create the vms you can configure it you can give access so on so all the permissions etc so this should also be yes this is the final answer please subscribe to my channel this brings us to the end of this part this is the playlist it has so many videos please refer this playlist for guaranteed passing of the exam and there is one more playlist which is an old playlist but the questions are still valid see you in the next part